That's it, we're live Facebook. I want to congratulate you. I'm full of happiness and gratefulness for you to connect with me on this live video. And today what we're going to talk about, I want to give you some tricks about how to have a better and more positive outcome during your day. And this is by setting up some habits. And if you do that on a daily basis, you will see some tremendous results and tremendous Actually, you're just gonna be into a phenomenal vibration. And, and when you start implementing this into your daily life, all kind of different things uh, are happening in your life. And it's, it's really funny because you start bending the environment. And when you do bend the environment, this is truly when you start creating on command. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I just want to remind you that you can find this membership on my platform if you go into the, um, the secret kit on the tab at the top, you will find this on markjuspit.com or you can shoot us an email at info at markjuspit.com and we'll answer your concern or uh, your questions, anything that you have in mind. I want to help you to make sure that you understand how this membership works because there's so many things that you have in there and you have, um, tools, you have exercises, you have audio, you have those videos that I'm doing and I'm doing live and this is to help you to study, to get into a better state. But there's so much more on the platform itself that I want you to go there and to truly experience it. So if you go into your login, so you're logging in and then you have tabs, so you have welcome, uh, you have all kinds of different things and I have this here which I'm going to just quickly uh, look into it so you can have a look and see how you can see that. So you have start here, which explain exactly the process, how you should study. Then you have the science of getting rich, which is a phenomenal program, which you have audio, you're going to listen to Bob and there is exercises as well that you can go through it. And each session, each session has its own text and has its own working exercises and if you are part of this membership have you been to your your platform today and have you been looking into the exercise that you have because in order for you to have the results you want in your life you're gonna have to start doing things that you've never done before and this is to make sure that you are studying on a daily basis and for a lot of you I know it is ah, I don't have time for that you do have time Believe me, when your mind starts to be in order, you're going to see that you start having more time in your hand that you never had before. And because the fact that you feel that you don't have time is just a lack of order into your mind. So it's very important to have order in your mind. And what I want to share with you is how to create that order, how to create that starting point in your day where that you can truly have a good way to start your day and be in a phenomenal vibration, be in a phenomenal energy and, and you can share and give that energy to everybody on a daily basis. I've been doing this for many, many uh, months now, years as a matter of fact, uh, this exercise that I'm going to share with you and if you implement this into your life and that's going to be hard in the beginning, I'm not going to lie to you. You know, there's all kinds of different things, that interior dialogue that's going to come in play and it's going to try to move you away from doing what needs to be done. But when you implement those, um, those new habits into your life, everything starts changing. As a matter of fact, I have a client which today wrote on the platform, the common denominator of success the secret of success of all the people which have ever been successful is lies in the fact that they're forming the habit of doing things that failures don't like to do. And there was a young gentleman in the assistance that said, Mr. Gray, because that was a text with, uh, from Albert Eden Gray, 1960. And that text is so accurate still nowadays. And he said, Mr. Gray, why successful people like to do those things? And he said, they don't. This is why they are forming the habit of doing them. So everything that needs to be done, you're not going to like it. People which are failing, they put all of attention in what they like to do, not what needs to be done. And there's a little difference there. There's a little um, subtlety that you're going to have to 
implement into your life. And if you do everything that needs to be done every day and you make it a habit of do whatever needs to be done, you cannot help but being successful. So that is one of the things that I want to share with you right now. Um, and uh, we're going to look into this. I hope that you have a pen and a pad and you can take some notes because those habits are very, very powerful. And by the way, those habits, which is part of my membership, I gave those habits, so and it's in writing, so you cannot miss on it. Uh, but if you don't, if you don't have a pen and a pad, you, you can find it over there, or just grab a pen and a pad and follow what I'm gonna say. So I invite you to get a book, like a little tiny book like this, where that I like to work with empty pages, and the reason for that is because I like. It, it, it gives me that sensation that I'm creating, okay? And then you're gonna start writing things that you're grateful for. I already talked about that in another session, but I wanna make sure that you understand how powerful this is. So if you are, you cannot move forward if you're not happy where you are currently, right? So you need to be in line with what you love to do and what you have in your life to be able to add more into your life. So if you're grateful and you're happy for what you, what you have and where you are, you'll be able to start moving forward. If you keep complaining about where you are and what you have, what you are doing is you're bringing to your experience more of what you have and what you don't like. Okay? So it's very important that you are grateful and happy for where you are. Number one. Number two, there's a text that I'm reading, which you're gonna find this in Think and Grow Rich, which is a um, very, very powerful text. And this text is the self-confidence formula, which uh, there's five different things. And if you wanna have this, uh, you can get in touch with me. I can send it to you. Uh, just send me your email, go there. Write me an email and I'm, I can send you this self-confidence formula because it's very, very powerful. So after you read this, which basically what it is, is you're making a commitment to, with yourself that you are walking towards that life that you want. Then what I do is I read that statement, that written statement that I made with myself about the type of life and how I see myself. And how I see myself, that is very important. That's going to be part of this training today. Because we are operating with images. I already mentioned that. If you were there for lesson four, you know that we're thinking in pictures. So when you are thinking about yourself, the first thing that comes in mind is a picture of yourself. And most of you, the picture of you have of yourself is not in accordance and is not in line with what you want. So if that picture of yourself is not in line with what you want, you won't be able to get what you want. And that is so simple because where you're going is directly related to how you see yourself, okay? That is so important that the image that you have of yourself is in line with how you see yourself, right? And then there's a, another story, which I really love that story. And again, if you send me an email, I'm going to send you this. And if you practice this on a daily basis, have that written statement of how you see yourself, do gratitude because where you are right now is a result of where, how you, you were thinking in the past. And having, reading that st statement on self-confidence and reading this, which the 333 story is a story about how you can make things happen. And it's not about how you cannot make things happen, it's about how you can make things happen. And when you understand this story, uh, it's very, very powerful. And the fourth thing that I'm doing is I'm, I'm writing, and that is totally logical because I was mentioning this in lesson three. You have to do illogical thing if you want result you never had before. Because if you keep being logical, you're gonna keep getting the same results that you always had in the past. 
okay? So to move forward, to create new results in your life, you have to do things which will seem in your mind to be illogical. So don't worry about that. That's gonna happen and you're gonna be able to embrace this magnificent life that you deserve, okay? So you're writing a statement which could be, uh, I don't know, if, if you want to travel to Bora Bora, I would write a statement like this. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm on the beach of Bora Bora with my family enjoying a great time. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm on the beach at, in Bora Bora with my family enjoying a great time. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm on the beach in Bora Bora with my family enjoying a great time. So you keep repeating and write it down. That is exactly why you have this book, which basically it's right, right? There's nothing and you write that statement. That's what I'm doing here. Because if you are not impressing those thoughts, if you're not impressing, if you're not saturating your mind with this and it becomes an obsession about what you want, you're not gonna form, you're not gonna, or it's gonna take you so much time, it's gonna take you five years, 10 years, before you start implementing this and you start attracting this into your experience. So it's all about saturating your mind with truly what you want. And it's not hard when you are working with what you truly want. That becomes very simple as a matter of fact. You are embracing it and you are starting seeing it materializing into your real life. So do that and you're gonna see magnificent things happening in your life. And that works every single time. And people are just, they just uh, shocked every time this market's working. Yeah, told you, it's working. So just do it and embrace it and you're gonna see magnificent things happening in your life. So today I wanna talk about the self-image because I was just mentioning this uh, earlier, you will not, be able to embrace that life that you should have if you if that image of yourself do not correspond to that same that that where you want to go so you've got to create that image and the way to create that image first of all you need to understand that we have an image of ourselves right but you have we have two image of ourselves and this you can find into the book psycho cybernetic from maxwell maltz which by the way it's in, it, all this, all what I'm talking about, it's part of that membership. So you have books, you have recommendation that, of books that you should read. By the way, you should read about 15 minutes every single day, gathering new information, important information, information that's gonna help you to start moving toward that life that you truly want. And into his book in Psycho Cybernetic, which by the way got written in 1960. Now, do you see that all that knowledge, all that information I'm talking about, there's some which is coming right from the beginning of the century, right, the 20th century, right? In the 1900. And, and a lot into that, um, what they call, you know, the, the quiet revolution. There's a lot of books, a lot of information which have been written there as well, which is still very accurate today and it's still applied to your knowledge and if you read psycho cybernetics you will see how i mean it hasn't changed this information is universal so what dr maxwell maltz is saying is that we have two image of ourselves one is the way we are projecting ourselves to other people so that's the way we talk walk come our hair, dress, you see like the way I'm dressed, I'm always dressed like this. Actually, I, I, I thought that I should tone it down a little bit. Maybe that's scaring some of you guys uh, if I'm wearing a jacket, which by the way, I really love wearing jackets. Um, and for me, every time I wear the jacket, I take a different, like I feel different. And that is part of that self-image I have of myself. Does that make sense? And then you have that inner self-image. That is the image that you go to bed with at night. Which by the way, when you go to bed at night, you go to bed by yourself. It doesn't matter if your spouse is next to you. It doesn't matter if, if, uh, um, if you have people in the house, you go to bed by yourself. You know why? Because you started having that interior dialogue. And that is the person, that one, is the one that ultimately show up on the outside. So if you see results on the outside, which is not of your liking, 
You have to start changing that person you go to bed with at night. That is the one that needs to be changed because ultimately that's the one that comes to the surface and that's the one that creates the result that you want. And what you want at, at some point in your life, you want to have those two images to blend and to become one. And when you do that, you're gonna be at peace and you're gonna be able to create on command everything you want. You don't need to show a different picture to other people. As a matter of fact, I want to do those videos for 10 years. I started having these ideas 10 years ago in 2007, but I was so afraid about what is people gonna think about me? What are they going to say? What is the opinion of other people? Which by the way, you should don't give a damn about it. Because at the end, when you go to bed at night, when you're with yourself, how do you feel about self? How do you feel about what you've done during the day? And that truly is what is important. And that is that self-image. So you, you can work that self-image and there's ways of working it. I cannot talk all about it right now, but I want you to start picturing how you see yourself, do a description of that self, do the exercise that I just gave you in the beginning of this video, and you're gonna see tremendous change happening in your life. And it's happening so fast because the way you're thinking, start changing the, 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 at the molecular level, the cells that you have in your body. And you start changing your appearances. I've seen this with client, client which are working with me, which when we are starting, they're like changing and tweaking a little bit that interior dialogue they have with themselves. All of a sudden, you start seeing them on the outside changing. And it's fascinating. For me, it's fascinating because that is the proof that we are pure creator. Actually, we are endogenous. A plant is indigenous. A plant has to have an environment in order to grow, in order to blossom. We are endogenous. We are creating our environment. We are in charge of whatever is happening on the outside. What type of experience we're inviting into our life? What type of um, circumstances that we are experiencing? So everything that you do, you're doing it through your creative process. And when you start understanding that, your life becomes an absolutely, um, it becomes magic. It is truly magic. And you just wonder, why did I wait it so long? So I invite you to subscribe to this membership. Don't wait. It's still free until the end of the month. But from the September 1st, you have to be a member in order to have access to those videos and in order to have access to all the materials. There's a lot of different materials. There's a lot of things that I'm offering. There's workbook, there's uh, videos, there's audio, there's all kind of things and well, suggestion of books that you should read. All those things is, I gather all this information, I gather all of this uh, knowledge to help people blossom. And yesterday we were talking, my wife and I, and, and I was thinking, what truly is the purpose? And my purpose, which kind of came this morning, came like while I was meditating, while I was doing my, my, my routine, I want to impact 100 million people. How I'm gonna do that, I have no clue. But I'm getting excited just to think about that. Every time I'm thinking about that, I'm getting excited. So help me to impact 100 million people and together, we're gonna start changing the world. So I wish that you're gonna have a fantastic day today. Shoot us an email, get in touch with our website, get in touch with us, and together, let's make this place a better place. Have a great day.